All right, guys, so I'm back. Part two to why I prefer uh, rope halters over standard halters. So the two points that we've hit on so far, um, your rope halter is gonna put better pressure on a horse's face uh, more than a standard nylon halter will. And the overall durability of them is a lot better. My third point is that rope halters are typically cheaper. Now this may not be a big factor in whether some people are deciding between halters or what kind of equipment they get for their horse. Listen guys, I just want to say that um, when you own a horse, be willing to put out some money. Okay, the cheapest part about owning a horse is the adoption process <laughs> or the adoption fee and the for sale fee. Um, that's the cheapest part of, of owning a horse is buying them. After that, you're going to be putting money into that horse no matter how much of an easy keeper are you're going to be putting money into that horse for years and years or however long you keep that horse so if you're choosing a less good piece of equipment over a better piece of equipment because of the price then one that's bad horsemanship you need to evaluate yourself and two maybe you just don't need to be owning that horse if you can't afford to get good efficient equipment by efficient i mean something as simple as a rope halter something that's going to help your horse in the long run and help you in the long run when it comes to training so um but anyway halters rope halters tend to be a lot cheaper than standard nylon halters the reason that nylon halters are usually up prices because one the sellers or the manufacturers, they understand that, hey, there's a lot of ignorance and dumb people in the horse world. There's a lot of people that like to look flashy in the horse world. So people are going to buy something that looks prettier, that looks more flashy, that matches the horse's coat a lot better. Not a lot of people are going to be like, hey, let me get this rope halter because, uh, yeah, it'll go good with my horse's uh, coat. Listen, guys, that should not play a part in the equipment that you're using on your animal, okay? And not only that... If you are somebody, hey, I'm a person, I love to buy pink and purple and beautiful colors too to put on my horses. Their rope halters come in a lot of different colors. Again, these are there's a turquoise one and here's a lilac one, lavender, whatever. But um, yeah, so they come in all different colors too. They just don't have a bunch of fancy designs like the nylon, the standard breakaway ones do. Um, but again, guys, so the reason those are usually up price is because one, more people are going to buy them. Uh, just because of the way they look and two a lot of times those halters have like a lot of designs on them um i used to have one in zebra print you can even get them made in leather uh with gold plated um on and script on it and everything listen guys that, that all looks nice but um it's not going to be efficient when it comes to teaching your horse um things on the ground or riding or teaching them to have a soft face or teaching them to respond to pressure on the face a lot of that's really just not going to help. So guys, uh, get you a rope halter. I can't say it enough. Go buy a rope halter. Again, so this halter, I paid different prices for all of these. And I'll explain why in a minute. This halter I paid $16.99 for. I don't know why I remember these prices. I just do. I paid $16.99 for it. That's not bad at all. Like I said, a standard breakaway halter, they usually run for $20 and up. And $20 is pretty cheap for one of them. But if you walk into like a tractor supply, you'll pretty much see them all lined up on the wall and they're pretty much $20 and above. So either way, so you may as well have paid $20 for a piece of equipment that's gonna help your horse rather than a piece of equipment that's gonna break the moment your horse pulls. Or um, yeah, so this was $16.99. Um, this purple one that I recently just bought, this was $21.99, um, and which again, still a pretty good price. I would have paid more for a standard halter. I'm not sure how much that little blue one was. The owner bought that, but I'm sure it probably wasn't more than 15 bucks. But uh, this halter, so this one was my most expensive one. It was $36. Um, so I'm gonna explain why though. Um, with a standard breakaway halter, lead rope is not usually a lead rope is not going to come with it and if a lead rope does come with it it's probably not going to be a good quality lead rope by good quality i mean it's probably not going to be a strong i'll show you this it's not so this is a nice thick lead rope i mean this lead rope i can grip easily the material is not too silky to if my horse were to pull or if something were to happen it slips out of my hand i have a good grip on this again nice strong um you can see it's just it's weaved very nicely and it has these little um what do you call these little leather pieces at the end now a lot of people may use this to spank a horse or to get him to go faster and shut up listen guys i don't whenever i ride i go ahead and just use these as reins which brings me to my next point this lead rope is already attached to the halter 
Now, a lot of people may find that as an inconvenience. I don't because with standard breakaway halters, much like, okay, okay guys. Okay, so much like this side, pull, well, they call it a side pull, but it's just a rope halter. Um, so the bottom of this has a metal buckle standard breakaway halters have the same buckle and then on top of this metal you would attach a lead rope to it which has a metal end which has a metal clip to it the reason i have grown to dislike the metal clips on the end of lead ropes so much uh, and they come on the end of lunge lines as well is because they weigh they don't tremendously weigh a horse's head down but they do weigh a horse's head down i want to teach my horse to be light in the face those buckles make it really hard um if I need to correct my horse, I don't want to be snapping that buckle in their jaw. I mean, that is just very cruel. A lot of people disagree. Look, if you can't get your horse to be polite and respectful on the ground without smacking a freaking buckle in their jaw, um, then you don't need to be dealing with horses. You don't need to have a horse. So I like this. It's a lot better if I need to correct and I give some pressure to that rope. It's not smacking uh, my horses in the jaw with a metal buckle. So it just has this knot right here. But anyway, so another thing I like about, I paid $36 for it because when these are reins, again, if it's just efficient as a lead rope, imagine how confident and good I feel with these kinds or these ropes in my hands as reins. I mean, they're, they're very long. I'm not sure the amount of footage that these are, but they're very long. And um, the reason I like them being long is one, they're not too long to wear um, lugging around a, li a giant lunge line with me every day. I don't even... I don't even use a lunge line anymore um, because I always pick rope halters that come attached with a long, strong uh, lead rope. Um, so this lead rope is long enough to where if I need to do some kind of schooling on the ground, I need to do correcting on the ground, I can lunge my horse comfortably in a large circle with this lead rope. And again, I don't need a lug to lug around a large lunge line with me. Um, but yeah, so when I uh, when I make reins out of them, I just I just loop them around the horse's neck. I tie the little leather parts, I tie these little, well pretty much I tie this whole rope, I tie it down under here, and now I have reins. So I don't even have to go and switch my piece of headgear because this just turned into a nice efficient halter. Um, and I don't have to ride in a standard breakaway halter because first of all, I hate them, and second of all, I've got a nice, nice rope halter, nice durable rope halter right here. So. Um, that's just a huge reason. So again, that was $36 one because the actual rope that it's made of is just a lot more uh, durable. Um, not that I find any any difference in the durability between that one and other rope halters I've used, but I do like how this one, um, it holds its form really well on the horse's face um, versus my other ones. Although I like them a lot, I love this one the most. Um, and again, the lead rope is nice and... Um, and long and it's made of a good material and I really like the feel of it in my hands so again I paid $36 for that you'd I mean you'd pay that much anyway for a standard breakaway halter plus a lead rope you'd probably pay more so um that's just something to keep in mind so like I said it, uh rope halters are usually cheaper however don't make that one of the main priorities to consider when buying tack and equipment for your horse because again we all know cheaper is not always better um, even though owning horses gets expensive always try to give your horse uh, what's most efficient and a lot of times you're just gonna have to pay a, a bigger buck for that um, so again my next point was that there is no metal buckle under the chin and that relieves the extra weight that it puts on a horse's head I'm not going to repeat everything I just said, but again, it's not a tremendous amount of pressure, but I notice a huge difference from when I switched to, actually, I've noticed a huge difference just from when I switched to a rope halter while using that lead rope that I have to attach that comes with the buckle rather than using a rope halter that already has a lead rope attached to the end of it. I've noticed a huge difference. It's not something that I can explain super well. It's really something that you feel when you're when you're working with your horse. Now, a lot of people don't take that into consideration because there are a lot of people, hey, they wanna show the horse who's boss. They wanna snap that buckle so that horse knows, hey, stay out of my space. Look, if, if you need a metal buckle to do all that, again, you really don't need to be uh, dealing with horses or training at all. Um, good horsemanship is always trying to find good efficient equipment while, make, while still considering the needs and feel goods of your horse. Um, 
My next point is that it's better for lunging and groundwork. I kind of touched on this already. Again, you're teaching a horse flexion, how to bend. You want a horse to be nice and soft on the face. Whenever you're lunging a horse in a circle um, and you want to keep that butt tipped away from you, the way to keep a horse's butt away from you when they're on the ground attached to a lunge line is to keep that head tipped in a little. You don't want to be lunging your horse and your horse's head is tipped away from you. You want it tipped, you want the nose tipped into you. And uh, that will keep that horse's butt away from you naturally. Um, and yeah, so uh, with a standard halter, horses tend to, again, it's made of a flat nylon material all around the face. So horses tend to lean into that rather than to move away from the pressure. On a rope halter, when I'm lunging my horse or when I'm working with my horse, my horse is naturally going to move away from this knot here because that pressure point, it sits right on that pressure point, just like this. So say if I want my horse to turn left. My horse is going to move away from that. See that? I know it looks weird on a person. It's the same concept on a horse. Now, a standard halter, you may be pulling, and that horse may not give to it as much because, look, it's just a flat piece of nylon rope. There's, It's putting really hardly any pressure on that point on their face. So, again, learn the pressure points on a horse's face so that you can understand how a rope halter is affecting their head and affecting their movement. Um, and like I said, just learning the anatomy of a horse's head really did help me to learn how the rope halter is more efficient. Because again, I used a nylon halter for about four years um, when I had, no, maybe about three years, two and a half to three years. I used it for way too long. And a lot of stuff that I could have taught Barella with a rope halter in five minutes, it took me a lot of times. And um, I taught her a lot of bad less, a lot of bad habits with a nylon halter. Um, thankfully I've broken those habits, but again, you, why even backtrack if you don't have to purpose of me making this video. So, um, my next point is that, um, well, I already talked about this. It easily turns into an adequate bitless bridle. Um, bitless bridles put pressure on the face instead of in the mouth, whereas a standard, uh, bit would do. Um, so again, this is just your basic halter. I will say this. So when you go, um, um, when you go online or even if you go in a store, you'll notice that um, you'll see rope halters that are turned into bridles. Side, they'll call it a side pull bridle, a halter bridle, halter bitless bridle. I mean, they have a ton of names for it. All you're looking at is a uh, rope halter that has had buckles put on it or a rope halter that has just been turned into pretty much what I showed you what I do when I go to ride. I just, I just um, loop it around and tie it under here to create a knot. Uh, that's all you're looking at. You don't need to pay extra for that stuff. This is just more of like a cautious thing. I'm pretty finished with all my topics as to why a rope halter is better, but I just wanted to, uh, so err on the side of caution when you see that stuff, guys. When you're picking equipment, actually look at the equipment and ask yourself, what is this doing different than my rope halter that I have, that I lead my horses with, that I do everything with my horses with? Why is this piece of equipment different? With this yearling halter, um, that's pretty much the concept here. Um, that's all they did. They just attached. This is a standard rope halter. This is exactly what a rope halter looks minus this, minus this, um, uh, this wonky tie point. I don't even know. Again, I don't even know why they would do that, but, um, yeah, all you're looking at is a standard rope halter, just like the ones I showed you. The only thing they did was added a buckle here, added a buckle here, because most people think that a bridle needs to have a rein attached to each side of the horse's face. Listen, guys, you can just as easily, horses do everything with the pressure coming from under their face. When you lead a horse, you don't have to attach reins on each side just to lead your horse. Your horse already knows how to take pressure from underneath, okay, because we do it all the time. And uh, I will make a separate video elaborating on that, however, but they advertise to people that think they have more control and security by using reins on each side of the face. You can just as easily this could just as easily not have any of these buckles just be a standard rope halter which it is and then you would just attach a lead rope to the end of it and you can make reins like that so I just say all that to say guys um don't go out and spend a bunch of extra because you will notice those um halter bridles are a lot more expensive but all you're doing is you're paying for a standard rope halter that already has a lead rope attached that's just made into reins um I can do a video on how to make reins uh, out of just a regular halter and lead rope. Um, but there are tons of videos here on YouTube. You can Google it. I mean, uh, really try to make the best out of all your equipment. But again, so that was really all I had 
Uh, riding in a rope halter, working with a horse in a rope halter, correcting a horse in a rope halter, teaching cues in a rope halter, it all just works better together. Um, if you have good timing and feel with training, you'll know that a, that a standard halter just really isn't, I mean, it, it really doesn't live up to anything that a rope halter is. So, um, those were pretty much all of my reasons for why I prefer using rope halters over standard nylon breakaway halters. I think those halters should be shunned and never sold again. Rope halters are just the way to go. Um, especially if you have a young horse, a new horse, a horse that's very pushy on the ground, rope halters give so much better correction. And it's all because the pressure that it puts on the face is a lot different than a standard halter. Um, so yeah, so I'm sorry I couldn't film this video in my paddock. I wanted you guys to watch my horses, but they were just, oh gosh, they were just knocking the freaking phone over. At one point, there was like 10 seconds that went by where Sadie's nostril was just in the camera. And I mean, it was bad. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, if you guys like this video, um, comment down below if you want and tell me what other kinds of videos you guys want to see. I will be coming out with much more videos this week. Um, and in a couple of my next videos, I'm actually going to be going more hands-on with teaching you some things about, um, about what you need to be looking for when you're starting your horse under saddle, um, all that stuff. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed making this video. I enjoyed talking to you guys about it and, um, comment down below, like this video if you want to see more like it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.